Hello students of Big Data. In this video we're going to download Heratrix, configure it, and then we're going to run a custom web crawl via the Heratrix web browser user interface. This is a clean installation of the Cloudera virtual machine, so the first thing we need to do is download Heratrix. Go ahead and head to the Heratrix guide on the class website and click on the download Heratrix link. We're going to download the .zip file for the Heratrix version 3.2.0. And we're going to open it with Archive Manager. It'll take a few seconds to download. And then we want to extract the file into the home directory for the Cloudera user. So let's make sure that we have the Cloudera home directory selected and then click Extract. And to verify that we have extracted Heratrix into the correct directory, just click on Cloudera's home link on the desktop. And there it is. Heratrix requires a couple of environment variables to be set up before we can actually run it. There are a number of ways to set the environment variables. We're going to add them to our Cloudera users .bashrc configuration file. Click on the terminal icon on the top menu bar. Then type ls-a to show all the files, including the hidden ones in the Cloudera user home directory. Type gedit.bashrc to open the bashrc configuration file for editing in the GNOME text editor. Then at the bottom of the file, add the following lines. The Heratrix home variable is required by Heratrix. The Java opts variable is not required, but will give our web crawler more memory to work with. Heratrix also requires the Java home variable to be set, but the Cloudera virtual machine has already set the variable to point to the appropriate location, so we needn't worry about it. Save the file and close the window. Close the terminal window as well, and then open a new terminal to activate our environment variables. To launch Heratrix and the web user interface, enter the following command. The hyphen A admin colon admin portion is required by Heratrix, and this specifies the username and password for the web user interface. Next, open up Firefox and navigate to the following URL. Heratrix is listening on the localhost at port 8443. Click on I understand the risks and then add exception and then click on confirm security exception. Type in admin and password admin if it's not already entered for you and this takes us to the Heratrix main page for the web user interface. To create a new job with recommended settings Head down to the Add Job Directory section and then type in Big Data Class Crawl and hit Create. This has created a new job and you can see in the job directories, there it is, and click on Big Data Class Crawl and this takes us to the main page for our new job. At this point we've created a new job but we're still not quite ready to start crawling. We want to configure our job before we run it. A Heratrix job is controlled by the crawler-beans.cxml file. It's an XML file that tells Heratrix which processors to use, what options to use with them, and what order to put them in. We are going to replace the default crawler-beans.cxml file with a custom one we've created ahead of time. Head back to the Heratrix guide on the class website. Under the Configure the Job section, you'll find links for a crawler-beans file and a seeds.txt file. We'll use this crawler beans file to control our crawler, and we'll use the seeds file to supply starting seeds for our crawl. Right click on each file, choose Save As, and save them to the new Big Data Class Crawl job directory we've just created. You'll need to replace the previous crawler beans XML file. There's one final thing we have to do before we can start our job. Heratrix requires that crawl operators offer contact information in their crawler so that site managers can respond to you if your robot is misbehaving. Head back to your main job page and click on the configuration tab on the top menu bar. On line 40, you need to leave your contact URL. If you don't have a web page, enter in http colon slash slash 
www.archive.org. This is the website for Heratrix. Next, on line 71, you need to provide your email address. Click on the Save Changes button at the bottom of the window, and then click on the Back button in the browser to head back to the main job page. We are ready to run our crawl. Hit the Build button and the job should be reported as instantiated in the job log window. Next, hit the Launch button and the job should be reported as launched in the job log window. After a few seconds, hit the Refresh button in your browser. Scroll down to the crawl log and you should see an account of your crawler's recent activity. The crawl will run until it has traversed 8 gigabytes worth of data and then it will gracefully shut down. This will probably take around an hour and a half. Since you don't want this video to be an hour and a half long, I'm going to stop this crawl early by clicking on the Terminate button. I'll wait a few seconds and hit Refresh. And if the job is done shutting down, the only blue button highlighted will be the Teardown button, and the job log will report that the job has finished. When your job has finished, click on the Teardown button. Then click on the Engine tab on the top menu bar to head back to the main page for the Heratrix web user interface. From there, scroll down to the bottom and click on the Exit Java Process button. Make sure to check the I'm Sure box beforehand. This will stop Heratrix. To see that your job was successful, open your Big Data Class Crawl folder. Inside should be a folder with a long string of numbers for its name. This is the folder for the job you just ran. Inside of that folder is a works folder. And inside of the works folder, you'll find your compressed work file. Your file will probably end up being about one gigabyte in size. To access the work file and the records within, we'll use Python. However, Python doesn't come with any tools for accessing work files. So we'll have to download and install a third party module. We'll use pip, a Python package manager, to assist us. Open a terminal and type sudo pip install work tools. If you're asked for a password, the password for the Cloudera user is Cloudera. That's it. The package is installed. Next, open the folder with your work file in it. Right click on some empty space and select open in terminal. Type ls to see your work file. To start the Python interpreter, type python and hit enter. Then, type from hanzo import work tools to gain access to the new module. To start exploring the module, use the dir function and pass the module name as an argument. This shows all the names that the module defines. The field work record looks interesting. So we'll use the dir command again. The field called openarchive is a method for creating a gzip work file stream object. To open a gzip work file stream object, first copy the name of your work file, then type the following command and paste the name into it. Now we have a stream object. It's time to start investigating the work records. Type the following sequence of commands in the Python interpreter to see the first 1000 characters of the first three work records in the file. Congratulations! You've performed a web crawl and accessed the subsequent work file. Use the dir function or investigate the source code to learn more about the work tools module.